Hello all, I am Dr. Manoj Jayapat. I welcome you to my uh, YouTube channel. I am a specialist in surgery and I deal with mostly with problems related with the abdomen. Today I am going to talk to you about inguinal hernias. There are various kinds of hernias. Today my topic will be on inguinal hernias. What is an inguinal hernia? What is a hernia first of all? Hernia is a bulge or protrusion of an organ or part of an organ or a fat through any of your weakness in your abdominal wall that is the abdominal muscle. So inguinal hernia means the weakness happens in the lower part of your abdomen that is in the lower part of your tummy. So it is a very common hernia, inguinal hernias constitute 75 percent of hernias are inguinal hernias. Among inguinal hernias there are three varieties common three varieties one is direct inguinal hernia two is indirect inguinal hernia and the third is femoral hernia so these three comes in the lower abdomen so what is a direct inguinal hernia direct inguinal hernia, direct inguinal hernia is nothing but a protrusion through your weakness in the abdominal muscle indirect inguinal hernia it comes from the top it is through a hole in your uh, tummy in which the intestine or the fat protrudes out. The femoral hernia is a variety of hernia in which the hernia comes out through a defect which is present near the blood vessel to your legs. That is a blood, which, a blood vessel which passes from the abdomen to your legs. So there is a defect just near to that and hernia through that hole is known as femoral hernia. So what are the symptoms? Symptoms and precipitating factors. Symptoms are nothing but a bulge in the lower part of the abdomen. It starts as a small swelling, it gradually increases, it actually reduces while you lie down. The size comes down when you lie down, but again, once you strain, it comes out. That is the commonest symptom. So, what are the causes of inguinal hernia? In, without any cause, it can occur, or else, when you become, when you become old, you become your muscles become weak sometimes it may be due to chronic coughing when a patient who is having repeated cough or when you go and strain at in the uh, toilet to pass uh, your urine or motion in such cases you can have this inguinal hernia so what you should what you should do when you have an inguinal hernia you should visit a surgeon nearby and go and tell him your problem so what he will do he will do a clinical examination he will just examine you for a hernia an examination by the surgeon alone is enough to diagnose the presence of hernia sometimes he will ask you to undergo a ultrasound to see whether there is any other problem for example sometimes you will have a renal failure or sometimes you will have a cancer inside in such maybe due to those conditions you will have this hernia too so you have to do an ultrasound he will ask you to do an ultrasound and few blood tests so after doing this what you should do you should do undergo surgery because there is no medical treatment for hernia all the medical treatment are useless so you have to undergo surgery so before surgery what they will do they will do the necessary blood test then they will submit you for anesthesia and they will proceed with surgery so what are the types of surgery you can have an open surgery you can have a laparoscopic surgery or i mean these are the two things an open surgery you make a small cut there maybe around seven eight centimeter cut they will open they'll push the protruding intestines and tummy into the abdomen they close the hole and place a mesh by opening what is a keyhole surgery in which they make in keyhole surgery they make small small holes maybe two or three generally or four holes and they will pull down the intestine inside and keep a large mesh so a laparoscopic surgery definitely got an advantage it can be performed as a day care you come in the morning get operated in the morning and by evening you can get discharged it is totally painless and you can go back to work as soon as possible so these are the types of surgeries so in any case of hernia you must place a mesh inside mesh is a plastic net inside so that this hernia will not come back so what will happen if you don't get operated so what are the complications i mean the complications are if you don't operate this hernia size will increase it will actually the the hole will start pressing over the hernia so the blood supply will be lost so it will lead to a complication on strangulation and which you may need to 
cut the vowel, cut the intestine and stitch it together. In such cases are dangerous because in that setting you cannot keep a mesh. You have to place a mesh in the second surgery. You have to do, perform another surgery and place a mesh. So strangulation, then sometimes it will produce obstruction. Obstruction in the intestine. In such cases patient will start vomiting, vomiting, continuous vomiting. In such cases uh, also you have to do an emergency surgery. And uh, the strangulation and irreducibility are the very uh, early complica very common complications of hernia. And uh, what exactly the patient will have when you have hernia? You have pain and you have a, sometimes you have a dragginess feeling in the lower abdomen and swelling. In such cases, meet a surgeon as soon as possible and remember all the complications which I have told. So, uh, the hernia surgeries are generally performed as daycare. You come in the morning and getting in the evening and it's a very safe surgery and very rare complications only occur in hernia surgery. The complications may be once you do surgery there may be bleeding, sometimes there may be injury to the organs there or sometimes the mesh will get infected, the mesh may get rejected. So infection can happen in the mesh, mesh can get rejected and a chronic pain even after operating on hernia you will have a chronic dragging pain there. So these are the complications of hernia surgery. So uh, what I mean to say is if you have a hernia and if it is really warranted, you please undergo surgery as soon as possible and can keep you fit. Thank you. I once again request you to watch my video and suggest my video to other friends who need them. And please press the bell button and subscribe the video so that you can get other videos as soon as possible. Thank you.